Ladies and gentlemen, now on yesterday's Cavalier Crystal opening, we said if we could smash out 4,000 likes that today we would return to spend another $200 on the Man Thing Cavalier Crystals. And by this point, I imagine you know exactly what channel it is. So today, if we can smash out 5,000 likes on this video, then tomorrow we are going to go for a third round of the Man Thing Cavalier Crystals to see if we can get a 6 star Man Thing or a 6 star version of Elsa Bloodstone uh, and hopefully today's crystal opening man is going to be a little bit more exciting than yesterday like overall yesterday's opening was all right we had a fairly decent five star ratio uh, but still I think in about 220 crystals now we've only got one six star champion so the six star ratio is still really behind absolutely in the bin uh so yeah i'm hoping that today's crystal opening is going to be uh, a little bit more exciting we can get something really really good uh six star elsa bloodstone out of the two featured champions would be the dream uh but i wouldn't mind a six star version of man thing either man to play about with but at this point man like any six star champion that isn't rocket raccoon is exactly what we're after so let's uh, go ahead and spin out crystal number one and also in terms of those five star champions man Aegon, Aegon, Aegon. I'm so desperate for an Aegon, man. I've been saving up like two tier five basic. Um, like also my reserve for the longest time just so if we get get Aegon we can like immediately rank 5 him as well man I think we got enough signature levels to sig 200 him so yeah Aegon is the absolute dream Namor as well is definitely up there in terms of the 5 star champions but I think those are uh, two of the uh, the ones that we're really looking for today uh, but let's have a look crystal number 1 it's going to be a 5 star version of Iron Man so certainly not a bad start there uh, maybe I should have voted Iron Man on the buff poll but hey Hulk Buster I won that by a landslide. I think Netflix Daredevil um, was a relatively close second as well. But Iron Man was unfortunately third. So I think it is... Um uh, unlikely we're going to see his buff however they have snuck in buffs in the past like they did have that very sneaky Gamora buff earlier this year uh, so maybe man and maybe this is wishful thinking but maybe they can get around to doing all three because I would like to see kind of classic Iron Man get buffed as well like he uh, I think there's some interesting stuff they could do with that version of the character but let's have a look crystal number two is going to be a three star version of the champion today so yeah not really uh, what we want to see over crystal number two there but uh, still 18 more to go plenty more chances today the five star ratio we are bang on 50 percent so far so if we can still stay that ratio or maybe go above when it comes to the five star champions that would be uh that'd be great uh but that's maybe uh, a bit too wishful but let's have a look crystal number three it's gonna be a four star version of medusa uh so not too bad there could certainly be a bit worse than a four star medusa eh but uh, again, not really what we're after, man. At this point in the roster, we're looking for those big wins, those six-star champions, or really like any five-star character, just to get even more chance for six-star ones. Uh, but let's have a little bit of a look. Crystal number four is going to be giving us a four-star version of Ebony Moore. Uh, and this champion, that they, they did say that they're going to be pausing the, the champion balance adjustments. But I think Ebony Moore is still going to be buffed uh, sometime around like January, February time. So we still owe a while to wait. But I'm looking forward to that Ebony Moore buff, man. Because he has amazing animations. He feels really, really good to play. The big problem is the character just sucks at the moment. Like He's a massive wet noodle. But uh, let's have a look. Crystal number five and a three-star Iron Fist is coming around the corner. Uh, a little bit dry today, lads. A little bit dry. At least we've got one five-star champion so far, but it's nothing... Um you know, 20 more levels on the OG Iron Man isn't anything uh, super game-changing for now. <laughs> so come on, boys. Let's see those six-star champions coming around the corner. And this is going to be crystal number six. And it's going to be a four-star version of Rocket Raccoon there. So, oh, man, Rocket Raccoon is just, he's just a plague to my account at the moment. But, uh, hey, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Let's keep on going. Crystal number seven. Five-star Elsa or six-star Elsa would be amazing. And it's going to be a three-star version of Thor Jane Foster. So, yeah, we didn't want to see uh, that champion really, man. That's certainly... Um, 
not the uh, not the best time there. I see the five star Namor has been teased a fair bit today, but hopefully he's gonna appear when the crystal stops. Man, that'd be a really really good time. Well, let's go crystal number eight on this one, and it's gonna be a five star version of Spider Gwen, which actually I'm really really happy to see because that does awaken my Spider Gwen, which means I've got a rank four gem for this champion now. Uh, from variants, we can take her up to rank four. So I'm super super happy with that one, man. I've actually been uh, waiting to get my five star spider gwen awakened for ages man uh so yeah that's a really really big win especially after the buff earlier this year uh so yeah that could be a little bit interesting and i think as well for like the abyss of legends because like the collector is the final boss and currently spider gwen uh, is actually one of the best matchup champions for the collector um, I don't know if she's going to be, like, useful for that, because she does have some advantages against the Collector, especially with the unblockable specials, um, and him being, uh, what is it, is it Universal Champion? Something like that, you know, the kind of, uh, what is it, like, the bluey-green icon that, like, Maestro have, like, the boss icon, uh, like, she gains her charges, like, three of them immediately at the start of the fight, so that's a very, very nice time. Uh, well, let's have a look. Crystal number 10 is going to be a three-star Doc Ock. So, overall, man, I don't think it was the worst first stack I've ever had there. Like, I'm very happy about awakening my Spider Gwen. Um, and we'll take a five-star Iron Man as well. So, that was all right there. Not Certainly not too bad. But we are looking for those big six-star wins. I think we're just going to go for a stack of 10 here. And hopefully, we can get something good. Uh, in the remaining 10 crystals that we have, man, a lot of six-star champions being teased in this reel. But they definitely have done something a little bit a little bit weird with the champion uh, reel, especially when it comes to new Cavaliers. Because we were talking about this in the Elsa opening, where it just kind of loads up, I think about 50, 20 champions, and then just spams them, like, over and over again. At least we saw Elsa in that one, though. But I haven't seen Man-Thing in, like, a single crystal reel just yet. Uh, but that's going to be a four-star symbiote there. So, yeah, that ain't doing too much, but brings his uh, awakened ability up to uh, Duke level 80 now. So, one more off being a um, uh, max sig champion, so certainly not too bad. Right, let's send uh, crystal number number 12 down the line. Hopefully something a little bit spicy is going to come out of this one. And this is going to be landing on a four-star version. Dude, that six-star Domino peeping around the corner got me a little bit too excited then. Domino is just the craziest champion. Uh, I absolutely love my maxed out five-star, but a six-star rank two. That would have a lot of firepower, man. Especially six-star rank three at some point in the future as well. So Domino would be uh, an exceptional pull, especially out of a Cavalier just absolute madness but let's have a look crystal number 13 is going to be landing on a five star ronin there so i think that brings our, our ronin up to dupe 40 or dupe 60 now i don't think the awakened ability uh for ronin at least to the best of my knowledge really does anything um but it, it does something but i don't think it is is really that useful i think it gives you like an evade charge uh, when you reach like maximum cruelty and if you evade you like lose something else or the cruelty or something and get a very small fury I just don't think it's that great at least to the best of my memory man But again, I can't even remember exactly what it is, but hey, it's a five-star champion man. It's six-star shards It's all good in my books uh, and That's gonna be five-star Namor. Yes, boys. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is amazing Dude, I've been waiting for Namor as a five-star champion um, for days, man. I swear I went for about 12 to 14 of the previous features. We went so ham in some of the Cavaliers. But look at that. Fishman is ours. Proper chuffed about that one. Oh my goodness, this is a great stack so far, like really, really good. So we have a Mutant Awakening gem for Namor. I also have the, um, uh, the what is it, the Sig Stones. Uh, to immediately take him up to 200, I think, uh, or very close to. I think I can at least take him to 160. But yeah, that is amazing, man. That is so, so good. I just need to double check my resources. But keep an eye out for that name or rank up and gameplay video, man. Because uh, that is so, so, so good. His prestige is awesome as well. That's definitely going to put me... Um, uh, like back up there prestige wise so yeah mate i honestly like couldn't be happier that is so so crazy i'm i'm just chuffed but we still have five more crystals man so five more chances to get a six star champion if we could get um 
I think at this point, literally, like, any six-star champion that isn't Rocky Ragoon, that would just top this crystal opening off. Uh, but let's have a look. Crystal number 16. Oh, I thought that was going to be six-star Juggernaut then, awakening that man. That would have been a nice little bonus there. But uh, three-star War Machine... Not that great, lads. I'm, I'm just so happy about that five-star Namor. I've been troll-rolled so many times on Namor. So to um, finally land that dude, uh, oh, proper happy, lads. Proper happy. Right, it's going to be a four-star void there. You know, we got three three more crystals. Hopefully uh, something in one of those crystals. It's going to be uh, a nice little finish to today's crystal opening. That would be a very nice time. Well, let's have a look. Crystal uh, number 18 now. And coming around that corner is going to be a... Oh, I thought it was going to be a six-star red skull. But there was no spin on that once it stopped. So, yeah, four-star King Groot. But, you know, it is what it is, lads. It's all been building up to, to crystal number 19 now. That is going to be landing on a four-star version of Bishop there. I wouldn't have minded the uh, additional 20 levels on Thing uh, just for prestige at some point in the future, man. Because <laughs> I imagine, I think it's once he gets to like SIG 120, he's better than like any maxed out five-star champion. So yeah, we'll get him up there one day, boys. We'll get him up there one day. But let's uh, spin out crystal number 20. And it's going to be a three-star version of Man Thing there. So a little bit more power to his um, uh, Fury and also Regeneration. But overall, mate, I'm just like chuffed to pieces. I finally got a five-star version of Namor. Because I love Namor so much. He's so much fun to play. Uh, so yeah, that's crazy. We can awaken him, proper sig that man out. Uh, but let's go for one final stop on Celebration Station. Just to see if we can... Um end this crystal opening on something uh, a little bit a little bit spicy uh but overall man i'm very pleased with uh, today's result like finally getting the name on is like a really really big win for me uh but let's have a look crystal number 21 desperation or celebration station is gonna be a four star version of iron fist there so ladies and gentlemen overall i, I just certainly can't knock today's crystal opening man a really really happy result for my account like i'm so pleased that we finally managed to bag a five star version of namor like definitely keep your eye out for some rank up and gameplay videos coming very soon and again if you do want to see that crystal opening tomorrow the third round on the man thing cavaliers uh please do me a massive favor and smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciate it but aside from that ladies and gentlemen take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Yeah.